Good morning, it's Tuesday, October 13th, and this is Wise Words from Waldo. Yesterday morning I shared a devotion about having alone time, the importance of a period of rest from all that life brings. Many of the Bible characters did. Jesus got away from people often. You see, it's not a suggestion. It's a biblical principle. In the creation account in Genesis, God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Because he was tired? Of course not. He laid down a biblical principle for us. He even gave them instructions to let the ground rest. Someone once said, if you're lonely when you're alone, you're probably in bad company. There's a great illustration of this principle for life in one of the best books I've ever read, Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Victor was a Nazi death camp survivor. One of the very difficult aspects of the camp, he wrote, was the very crowded conditions. Because of the enforced community life, in which attention is paid to everything everyone does all the time, there's an intense desire to get away from it all, even if it's just for a short time. He yearned for the solitude and privacy. At one point, he was transferred to another camp. In his new hut, there were 50 sick men. But just to the side of the hut was a makeshift tent to shelter the half dozen corpses each day. There was a shaft leading to some water pipes. He could sit on the lid of that shaft behind the hut and under the tent, and he could look out the barbed wire fence at the green slopes of the Bavarian landscape. Even the smell of the dead bodies didn't bother him. It would only be the approaching guards that brought him back to real life. Even in that ugly place, with the worst of humanity around, he said that solitude was priceless. You and I are not going to have to work quite so hard to have our quiet time, but I don't think it's less important. God's principle of rest was one day for every seven. So the question is, how are you doing? Are you behind? I found that it's easier to schedule those times regularly than to let God schedule them all at once. Now stop and think about that.